is that I'm adding little clips of things that happened in my life, little videos, little pictures that I have inside of like Google storage and it's from three years ago and I haven't even looked at it before. Hello again, and uh, today, on this Saturday, I really, all I did today was edit and gotten, and I've gotten a lot better at editing, as you can see inside of vlog number two. Vlog number two, I, I really put a lot more work into it, and uh, I'm kind of happy with, with, with what came out, even though I know uh, I'm going to keep on working on it and making it even better, you know? Uh, I basically, uh, I put some music in there, I actually have the rights, or not the rights, but licensing for that music, and it's, it, it's just great, you know, uh, things about, like, like about that music, it's lo-fi music, right, and with lo-fi music, or with the lo-fi artists that I've found, and the publishers that I've found, that, that make lo-fi music, a lot of the times the licensing, it's very cheap, and uh, just because they want to get the music out there and get more people listening to it and it's always the, the top thing that we use when, when you're talking about making videos, vlogs and whatnot. Dusty and, and all those other big YouTubers, they use this music and uh, that's the music I want to use for this vlog and that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, other than that, I've kind of just been letting Adobe Premiere auto make uh, adjustments to lighting and to the thumbnail that I'm, uh, I've been able to add into it uh, just so that everything looks good and I don't have to have that kind of amateur finish to it. I'll let Adobe like, handle it and then later on I'll be able to, to kind of learn more in depth in intricacies of it. But at the moment I, I'm really just guessing around how to really make it work very well. One thing that I am doing that I said I, I wanted to do before um, is that I'm adding little clips of things that happened in my life, little videos, little pictures that I have inside of like Google storage and it's from three years ago and I haven't even looked at it before, right? And I just pop it in there and it's a little, little interesting thing if you want to know about it, just ask. Um, but nice little interesting little little videos and whatnot that I have that I've taken with my phone or camera or whatever. But that's kind of how the style of my video is going to be for now until I, I really get out there and get a better camera or find or start doing something outside of just the house, you know. But uh, internship doesn't start until another about two weeks, so I've got time to, to kind of keep playing around and learn how the editing systems work for Adobe and Photoshop with the thumbnail and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, I've actually started reading one of the uh, More House 150 books uh, reading list is uh, The Social Animal. It's really, really interesting. Like I'm starting to just work through the book and and it's at first it's very, very dry. It, it reminds me of Outliers, but and it was much more dry at the beginning, but then when you actually get into the uh, the like kind of first chapter, it becomes much more like almost comedic inside of the way it presents information, as well as being extremely factual, representing everything with facts and studies that were made inside of social science. Very similar to Outliers, but it's much more fun, I would say. Um, but uh, it's a really interesting book, and I'm really blazing through it. Uh, the, 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 the file that I have it on is about 640 pages, but uh, I've been like going hundreds of pages at a time, so I should get done with it probably by the end of the week. So that's, that's really interesting, and yeah, that's just kind of how the day went.